Hey guys, there's something I want to talk to you about. I just came back from a shoot with Bob Holmes, so this is really fresh on my mind. By the way, we've made a complete course for Bob. So all you Bob fans, soon you're going to get an entire course of Bob out shooting with me behind him asking him all sorts of questions. So stay tuned for that. But here's what's on my mind. One of the things we talked about in the shoot is being active as a photographer. Now, Photography isn't a spectator sport. It's something you have to be involved with. The less you're involved, the more you're standing in the bleachers kind of waiting for a photograph to sort of drift by, the more disappointed you're going to be as a photographer. I want to talk to you about being active. Okay, this is an example of being active as a photographer. This photograph, I'm going to tell you the brief story, not the full story. The whole story is in my book, Create. But this was a photograph that I actually took in the eighth grade. These are my friends in school, and they're jumping off a sand dune on the coast of California. Now, I'm going to show you a contact sheet, which basically can show you from the side. These weren't very interesting photographs. So what I actually did is I directed these guys. I told them to back up. This is a sand dune here. This is the edge of the sand dune. The sun is behind them. So they're backlit. I told them to back up and I went down the sand dune and I called action just like, you know, a movie director. What's the difference between you as a photographer and a director? You're in charge. You're running the camera. These are the people you're working with. And instead of them just randomly jumping at a certain point, I told them on my count. So I counted. I, when we got one, two, three, jump in the air. And I captured them in a perfect arc. If I had left that up to chance, what would have happened? You know, this person would have had their arms up. Who knows where they would be? Uh, this guy might have just fallen over. Anything could have happened. But because I wanted this, this was my vision. And if you've read my book or you know about it, the first step of photography in the cycle is your vision. You visualize the photograph that you want. That's how I visualized it, and it worked out. But that was because I was being active and I was directing the shot. And the same thing is true with any shot. When I was with Bob, we were taking a photograph of some people walking up a set of stairs. There's one of those ugly yellow mark, um, stands that was in the way. So, of course, we moved that out of the way. And then he positioned the people to walk up the stairs on his count, so it wasn't just a random thing. They were perfectly positioned by the time he pressed the shutter. Now, here's another example of being active. This is in the Medina, which is the inner, inner city. And I took a lot of photographs, but I got interested in these people walking by the doorway here. And so I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but I took about 30 or so frames. And it dawned on me that I could make this into like a contact sheet, which is what you see here. And this is a sequence of these people walking by. And I thought it made an interesting series and turned into a story in itself. That's another example of actively knowing what I wanted, visualizing it, and actively getting it, not just waiting for chance. This is when I was a mountaineering instructor in Wyoming. And this is one of my students coming across a raging river. This is like a raging river. So I had to get across this thing first with my camera and then capture him on his way over. And of course, I was very active because first I had to get there. Then I had to be ready. And then I had to kind of bend down into the action. And I think it's kind of a cool shot because it really captures the whole motion an activity level that was going on. So the moral of this story, guys, is don't just take your camera and hope for the best and hope that something pops in front of your viewfinder and you press the shutter just at the right moment. That's not how the pros do it. I guarantee you, because I work with these guys and I'm one of them, you get the vision, you get the idea, and then you go out to capture it. Now, sometimes you're completely surprised. Sometimes it's total serendipity. There's this maxim from Louis Pasteur that chance favors the prepared mind. So the better you're prepared, the more you're in control of it rather than just have it be a happenstance or a chance. Okay, I want you guys to practice this. 
I want you to get out there and use your camera in a, you know, like you're out on a playing field, not in the bleachers and tell me how that goes for you. Okay, so one piece of news before I sign off here, we've made a complete video course out of this book, Advancing Your Photography, every chapter fully illustrated in video form. But we also have a free course, a free version of it. It's a five day course. And if you hit the I here right now, you can sign up for it. Hey, it's free, okay? And it really will give you the basics of photography, the cycle of photography. We've got a lot of other cool news, more videos with Dan, a whole series that I told you about with Bob, more videos with Bob, more videos with me. Okay, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And we love your comments. We love your comments, so keep them coming. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life.